consider supporting Fables E20 on Patreon or becoming a channel member. Welcome to Fables of Aeda. I'm Carmichael. I'll be your dungeon master this evening. This is a world where I and my friends roll dice and create stories in a world of my creation. The first anthology of Aeda is Curse of Amity Island, a D&D adventure inspired by Jaws the movie. Now that we have all that out of the way, let's start rolling some dice. The year is 684 Second Dawn, SD. On the edge of an ocean side cliff on the continent of Westlands of Aeda, walks a red dwarf up a dirt road. Chris, can you describe what your character looks like? But can you do so as if he was 150 years younger? <laughs> uh. Yeah, you see a red-skinned dwarf uh, with this massive leather trench coat, uh, hair thinning, but not fully bald. Curiously enough, no beard. He very much shaves every day. There is a dwarven rune tattooed on the underside of his chin. He walks tall and strong, uh, with a little bit of a chip in his step. At his side are two cutlasses, beautiful, uh, the hilts of which are emblazoned with a bit of silver. And he strolls up this path, uh, going to where he needs to go. Walking from the small fishing town of Port Deep, you pass cottages filled with families and children made of half elves, dwarves, humans, halflings. Kids are playing. There's even little black tabaxi kids. Eventually, you climb some wooden stairs to the top of the hill, and a single cottage next to a tree faces the southern seas with a welcoming hit to the face. The wind, the smell, the view just hits you, and you are at peace. You see a red dwarven lass hanging sheets out to dry. Can you describe your home and who is this dwarven woman who turns to see you coming home? Uh. This dwarven woman is the object of my affection, the apple of my eye. Uh, the home is, it's a modest dwarven make, uh, similar to what you'd see uh, in like an Irish uh, town. So there's like very carved rock, uh, kind of this uh, thatched roof, uh, but it's not like thatch where if it gets it's way, rainy or anything, it's gonna get wet. Uh, this thatch has been pulled and, and cinched and matted and done across where it's beautiful, uh, if not a bit rustic. Uh, and I think she is hanging close. <laughs> Brunhilde Lowborough. <laughs> she is a handsome woman. Um, I would say that she has a little bit of facial hair yeah. as well. And I'll walk over to her. Make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage for me. Doki? Don't hurt his wife. <laughs> well, it sounds like his uh, wife's gonna hurt him. Oh, God. <laughs> Boy. Somebody's gonna uh, hurt. Seven. Break up the happy couple. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. The sky magically darkens as you walk towards your home. Mm -hmm. The smell of the ocean breeze rapidly turns into burning wood. That sounds horrifying. The cold breeze turns into intense heat. The tree next to your home is burning, mm -hmm. alongside with the entire house, lighting the entire cliffside along the rest of the burning port deep. Blood fills one hand, a hammer, a simple carpenter's hammer in the other, and a slain bandit lies at your feet. Port deep is being raided. You hear the screaming of families, crying children, Swords clashing, guard bell towers. Out of the chaos, you hear the faint voice of your love crying out for you. Roll perception. Okay, geez. Uh, nine. The voice is coming from your home. There are crying children behind you, your love's voice coming from your burning house in front of you. What do you do? I run to Brunhilde. All right. Allie. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> I want to pass off a little bit of the, the storytelling power. Does Halleg make it in time? How would I know? 
What am I? How would I know that? He's got, does he make? Does he make it in time to save her? How far is the house from where he's at? It's up on the hill. He's not that far. Okay, I'm sorry. I've, I've never been given this power. I just say yes or no. Yeah. He's gonna freaking make it. He has to. I'm a sucker for love, even if he has commitment issues. You run <laughs> as fast as you can to the burning house. How do you enter the house? I kick the front door open. Bam! You knock down that door. Jordy. Oh, God. <laughs> Why am I getting pulled? <laughs> Does the entranceway collapse as he's entering or when he's leaving the house? When, he, when he's entering. Make a dexterity saving throw <laughs> as the top of the doorway comes crashing down on you. I have advantage at this. Jeez. That was good. Uh, 16. Six, you dodge just right out of the way. You roll in, there's a little bit of fire on your coat. You hear her voice screaming out. It's behind the bedroom door. At this point, Halig's already lost it, and mm -hmm. he is uh, just gonna see red and kick that same door. So I'm gonna rage, and I'm gonna kick that door down again. All right, before you roll, Taco. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll a constitution saving throw for me? You need to roll a 10 or higher. Is this for Broomhilda? Uh, yes, it is. Ooh. That was a 12. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What are her stats? Go ahead and make an attack roll against the door. At advantage? At advantage. Because uh, you're raging. Why. Yeah, okay. 17. You slam against the door and you bust it. It's n But it's not going. There's something in the way, but you can see through it. You see her slowly fainting. She's coming down to the ground and she sees you and she reaches out for you. Brunhilda, please. Alec. I'm, I'm gonna try and kick the door open again. Do it. Okay. That's a uh, b -b 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 21. 21? Boom! You knock the door down. Taco, roll another constitution oh saving throw. <laughs> that was a one. Oh! As you kick the door down, you run over to her, she collapses. No. No. I, I run to her. Mm hmm. I, the, the, you are surrounded by fire. I cradle her head in my hands and I try and carry her out. Do you go out the way you came in, or is there a different way you would like to exit? Do we have a window in our room? Absolutely. I'm going to jump out of that window. Jump out the window. I'm gonna like go go me first, so all mm -hmm. the glass goes into my back, and like I can fall on it, and she's okay. Go ahead and uh, take eight points of fire damage. Okay. <laughs> God, I can't do math right now. Jeez, I am twenty-two nerd. minus eight. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm freaking out. Uh, cool. Yep. All right, you get out with Brunhilde. There's ten feet until the begins to become like a, a little bit of a rocky cliff side to the ocean. Can't really hear the raiders that are attacking the town anymore. You're being swollen by the sound of the fire behind you and the heat just pouring down your back. I'm gonna roll over and kind of get above her and uh, check her airway, check, make sure she's alive. Make I'm, a medicine check. Okay. That's a net one. Oh God. Ugh. You wake up. Uh. You're in a hammock below deck of a ship sailing the ocean. Uh. Freaking nightmare. I reach up, make sure the beard is still there. <laughs> the beard is still there. It's right. a small cabin room, one oil lantern hanging. There are three other hammocks, kind of bunk style going on. The three other people are sleeping. You're covered in sweat. I'll sit up, uh, lean out of the hammock, and uh, make my way to the main deck of the ship. You exit the cabin. Go to the main deck. It's actually twilight. Hmm. You see Palor, the sun, rising over the autumn horizon. 
the frost-covered dwarven mountains in the distance. Far distance. The year is... 834 Second Dawn. Can you describe what Halig looks like now? He is uh, fully bald, except for the size now. Uh, long, un- unkempt beard. Um, significantly more uh, round, I would say. He's not been taking care of himself. Uh, still a large dwarf, but uh, one who has not seen uh, the need to run in a long time. Um, he walks with a, a bit of a limp now. Uh, scars, uh, he's in like an undershirt and as he's sleeping and scars are all over the t- uh, shoulders and arms and um, he wears a small wrist wrap around uh, his right uh, wrist and uh, there's just a look of this man has been beaten by the world in his eyes as he looks out over the rising sun. We're gonna zoom out context to where we are. We zoom out from the 60 foot long ship. We find ourselves three days away from the shores of the Westlands. The ship is sailing south from the richest city on the continent, Martima, the city of splendor. The city is home to guilds, merchants, nobles, nearly of every type of people and creature, seven story brick and cement buildings, bustling cobble streets, trades, rumors, thieves. It's basically the true fantasy city. Uh, But Martima is not the ship's destination. The ship, in fact, is heading away from it. Returning home on an important mission, supply run to the small fishing island of Amity. The ship itself is an average vessel. You've been on it for about seven-ish days, four days heading to Martima three days now heading back. Nothing really fancy calls your attention to the ship. Um, It's pretty fast. It's also very beautiful in a simple kind of way. It's got uh, fun yellow paint on the side as the water hits the hull. Uh, The name of the ship, Astern Martingale. Astern? Astern. Astern. The captain walks out of its quarters. Captain? Uh, Halleck, you're up early. I don't sleep as well as I used to. I wonder why. He's holding what looks like a, a quick cold coffee. Can't see the heat coming off of it. Uh, he's a tan, dark hair, halfling man. Yellow wool coat striped sweater and a gray cap, scruffy little beard. It, this is Captain Marlin Caster. A surprise cutting through the fog was so easy. Sure hope cut him going back. It's just as easy. Let's hope. Let's hope it's easy getting through that. But if it's not, that's what we're here for. That's what you're here for. Right. Miss Brody chose you to be my first mate. Highest office I've held. She never really elaborated on how you'd be good cutting through the fog. Right. Marlon, how long have you been sailing? My whole life. Mm. And how long is that? Pushing on 50 now. Mm. Double that. That's how long these boots have been on a ship before. So, I see your rigging's a little loose up on the second mast right here. I see that your night watchman doesn't do a full circle around the boat. So I'm here because I know what I'm talking about. Right? If it keeps us alive, I agree. Good. I'm gonna go get my stuff out of my cabin. I'll be up at the bow. When we get to the uh, fog, Mm. will you be on the wheel? Listen for my calls. And Marlin. Halleck. Good luck. Good luck to you. He walks off to leave the the night shift that's running the helm, and he'll just be on the wheel for a bit. The rest of the crew starts to wake up. 
you pass them as you're going to get, get your stuff. And as you head downstairs to grab your stuff, the other three people that were sleeping in your cabin are awake. Everyone else, can you introduce your characters and describe what they look like as Halleck enters the room? Allie, we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Bryn has uh, light blonde hair. She wears it up in higher buns than mine currently. Uh, she has some hair wisping in the front. Um, she has on like a, a white uh, turtleneck and then she has sort of a purple short sleeve over collar um, with some trousers um, and she's lying in her hammock right now uh, reading a book that looks sort of magical but you can't tell what it's about um, and her, her hair is a little messy since they've been on the ship for about seven days um, and uh, as she's laying in her hammock her feet are kind of you know doing the the anxious shifting a bit. Full elves don't exist in Carmichael's world, so yes, Bryn is a half elf, but she's 23 and she's 5'5. Five five. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Taco? Uh, no, I call Jessica Taco. I think we're all going to be end up talking you to can Jessica just call like me Taco. Taco. It's fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Taco and I'm playing Meridian. Um, Meridian is a halfling woman, looks like late teens, early 20s kind of deal, like. Not quite an adult, but approaching adulthood. Um, long brown hair, like pulled back into like a pretty tight braid to keep it out of the way, and brown eyes. Um, dressed in sort of just like your utility leather, sort of sailor's garb, dark oiled leather. Um, and she's pretty tall for a halfling, although it's completely asleep right now, like totally conked out, like sleeping like a little baby in the, the rocking hammock. Um, but where she's standing, you would notice she was a little taller than your average halfling, like close to like three, five, three, four-ish, somewhere in there. Um, and just completely conked out right now. Like you could tell that she has slept on many a ship um, in her life and is just completely asleep. Jordy. Trace is a half elf as well. Um, he is uh, disheveled. He's frantically trying to get ready because he now realizes he has slept in later than he was supposed to. Um, and he is uh, he's getting on his gear. He's wearing uh, just a, a breastplate. Um, he's not wearing any shirt under it. Just just rocking like a tank look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh, just like the, he's got the standard tu like uh, tunic that. Um, the Marines and the three like wear underneath, perhaps a little tighter than it should be. Um, he uh, has like brown hair that's like uh, that's like just above shoulder, like just shorter than short shoulder length, and it's just like that perfect like disheveled bedhead type deal. He has big <laughs> thirst trap energy. It's basically, the question his vibe. is: Are the pants mm -hmm. tighter than they should be, or are the legs? thicker than they normally are. It's a little column A, a little column B. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit of both. Um, and he is, uh, he, he's got like uh, green eyes and he is just uh, trying to get ready. Like, no, no, okay, okay, no, it's, it's fine. Everybody else is sleeping too, it's okay. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what he's up to right now. Behind Halleck, as Halleck walked in to grab his stuff, another door opens out across and you see Helen Brody, uh, notice all of you guys Ellen Brody is a uh, half elf dark skin hazel eyes uh, braided long black hair she's putting on her red coat over uh, what generally is practical sense clothing for sailing and adventuring she notices that most of you guys are sleeping and awake kind of a mix. She glances in the room. You make eye contact with her. I immediately look at the floor. <laughs> well, I will see you on the main deck. Hi. Uh, I'm just going to check the cargo and make sure it's good. Yeah, yes, ma'am. She goes to do that. As she walks out, I'll go over to Meridian's uh, hammock mm -hmm. and then take one of the ends and then just start spinning it so she falls over. 
Make a dexterity saving throw. I was gonna wonder about that. <laughs> That I was went, a nat one. Wow. <laughs> uh, hey. I, was, I feel like you like go to spin me and then I like fall like wake up as I fall out and somehow manage to land on my feet glaring at you. What? I wouldn't have done that if I were you. What? She landed on her feet. What do I care about? What? Wake up. I'm I'm up. Good. I'm standing. Great. What what? It's a new day. You have things to do. Uh, fine. Then I walk the door. <laughs> Radian's not really a morning person. You haven't figured that out? No, but every time I do it, she wakes up on her feet. I'm yes. not in the room anymore. I, well, it's, it's just <laughs> <laughs> and then she has that scale. Maybe if you let Meridian wake up well, on her own, you she, know. Maybe she won't wake up. Maybe she'll keep sleeping. Trace com- Probably. Trace is trying to get his boots on. He completely falls on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Brand just sort of looks at you with a like, oh honey, and keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be right up. <clears throat> Very pretty. Why did they bring him? I mean armor, sword, shield. Brains? Oh, yeah. Well, this is a small cabin. Um that was that felt not nice. And then I, I storm back into the room to pick up the gear that I definitely did not pick up when I first met. <laughs> and I say nothing to anybody. I just yank it off the ground, glare at Hay like extra bad before I continue out. And that's the glare you get for waking her up early. Uh, I put my like crossbow and like I just put all my gear and I just I just run upstairs. You always forget sleeves. I think he's trying to like impress people, but I'm not really impressed. Mm. Oh, also, uh, you mentioned the ages. Uh, yeah, like he's about he lo- he looks right at twenty, but because of that half elf thing, you get that fun arrested development. He's probably like thirty, a little plus. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So you all head to upstairs on the main deck. Is there still coffee, or did the captain drink it all? I mean, I don't. In- I'm not in charge of the coffee. I'm not the cook. I just thought maybe you saw you were up first. I saw he had a cup of coffee. What am I supposed to do? Check on the coffee? Yes. Ugh. Uh, Bryn. I will, oh, oh, I would say Bryn runs into the kitchen to grab coffee. <laughs> galley, actually, but whatever. Kitchen, galley, same thing. They have food. True. I think I'd probably, you know, grumpily walk up next to uh, my my uncle Marlin on the wheel, on the wheel, yeah, yeah, and just walk up, stand next to him. Morning. Morning, little one. Anything interesting? Well, r- roll a perception check for me. A dirty 20. Dirty 20. Um. Does he say, is there anything interesting? I'm like pointing, rubbing the sleep. I don't like what <laughs> It's really hard. You can't really see much in the distance. And you kind of glance back. There's, you know, the sky. You can see the mountains behind you in the distance. The big mountains. In front, you then realize, oh, the fog is coming. Um, is the fog coming towards us? No, you are going we to are going the fog. We are going the fog, okay. Or um, I was curious if it's like, if it's rushing <laughs> towards us, like. Ooh. No, uh, you are heading towards the fog. Um, and he's like, just remember, I didn't know you were here. But. If your mom asks. Oh. I, I told, I told dad. He's fine. He's fine. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time, he's fine. Th- thanks for looking out, and I like bump my my <laughs> shoulder against him. I'm like, <laughs> uh, do you want to hold the wheel before Halleck comes up to steer through the fog? Do I have to? No. I'm gonna go. Just. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meridian, you do what you would like to do. <laughs> cool. Uh, and I'm going to make my way to like the ship's uh, rigging and just sort of like climb up and find a little spot to like chill and watch out of the way. So on the ship, there are two masts. On the middle mast, there is a crow's net up top that you could chill and rest. Is there anyone in the crow's nest currently? You, when you get up to the mast, uh, Pete, the tabaxi on the ship, uh, he's like about to go up and he stops and sees you. I climb up. (laughs) Just shout out if you see anything. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. I'm I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I like I uh, sort of like sit back, like lean against, and kind of look out and survey. And then I'll also like glance down to see what people are doing down on the deck. Great. I clearly am just like not a morning person. Yeah. Like this is. Uh, from this the crow's nest, she can definitely see just kind of a bird's eye view of like. I'm keeping like side, you know, like a party where you like see like where you see like somebody you don't like like or you don't want to be around and you just kind of like can you just keep peripheral. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that with Ellen. I'm just like wherever and just keeping eyes and then just being as far away on the ship as possible. Gotcha. Uh, um, Yeah, and especially because you are in charge of keeping Ellen safe. Hmm. Good to know. And you notice that. Anything from you guys before I, before I do I, something? I think to myself, he's like, oh, is he, like, into her? Roll insight. That was a two. <laughs> yeah, so this goes a hot four. <laughs> Can't tell. <laughs> it, 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 either he's into her or he completely hates her. Weird. Something's definitely up, though. But then, when you're looking down and seeing that, start to lose sight of the deck a little bit as fog starts to swallow the ship. We've reached the fog. Mm-hmm. Okay. As oh, go ahead. No, you go. Uh, at this point, Halleg is going to stand up and go, Right, so... Pretty boy, we'll need you in the front. We need those keen eyes of yours out on the bow. Uh, Bryn, do you have any sort of magic that can disperse the fog here? Oh, no, I don't know how to do that. Great. So, uh, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Uh, Trace. Trace, that's right. right. Yes, right. Uh, Lady Ellen, uh, I'll need you at the front of the boat as well to keep a watchful eye as that that is um, my duty. Perfect. I'll uh, see you there. Great. See you there. I imagine that she, like, walks away with purpose and you're, like, following behind (laughs) her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, Dense eldritch fog swallows the ship. No one's vision can see past 60-ish feet. Mm. So it's a good thing you have him at the front since the ship is only 60 feet and those, the helm wheel is at the back of the ship. Marlin speaks up. Meridian! Do you, do you see anything up there? Just fog. And then I double check that I still see just fog. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fog. Yep, just fog. Nothing else. Nothing else. Do you see anything down there? No. I was hoping you could. <laughs> I, I have a question. Uh, a me question? Yes. Sure. So the fog, it's like kind of in the ship now, right? Like it's like like we're moving through it? Yeah. Because um, Chris asked if I had anything to like... I mean, would you consider this an incoming energy? <laughs> Ooh. A vibe, almost. Uh, roll Arcana. Oh god. I actually have a lot of Arcana. Thirteen. 
Uh, go ahead and attempt what you want to attempt. Okay. Uh, so I have a spell that is called Absorb Elements. It does not have an effect. Okay. So then didn't really, like, nothing really happened? No. Okay, so Halig might see um, Bryn, like, holding her little potion bottle and sort of, like, shaking it <laughs> around the fog <laughs> and, like, moving it around. And then she pockets it because nothing happened. <laughs> Halleck thinks to himself, hmm, magic is weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, could, uh, Tra- Trace is like, all right, things are starting to get serious. He's getting, he gets a little closer to Ellen, and he's gonna, uh, pull out his shield as well. Thank you so much for helping with this. Uh, I am happy to mail. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to mail. Um, roll insight for me. Three on the die. Uh, five. Five? Yeah. Um, she seems a little bashful that you say, ma'am. Mm. I'm sorry, like, I, I know it's a thing, like, by, that's just, in my household, you, you always say, sir, you should say, ma'am. Um, I got out of habit of it, like, I'm trying to get back into it. <clears throat> sorry, Ellen. It's okay. Go eyes go right back down to the floor. Uh, her eyes kind of like don't know where to go, and she kind of looks ahead. How close were they to us? Where were you? Up they up. were at the front of the ship. I'm with I'm where Halleck is. You're on the back of the ship. You can kind of make out. They're sixty feet away. Why is he so awkward with her all the time? Do you think he likes her? I think so, but I don't know. <gasps> Maybe we should, like, set them up on a date or something. Uh, from what I've heard about Trace, he's a little bit of a womanizer, so... You know. Oh, we don't want that. No. She can do better. Ah, uh, yeah. You you guys also know she is She's married. married. Yeah. Right. She's also married. <laughs> I didn't know that. She, she, she can do better. Her heart's <laughs> <laughs> is that in the primer and I forgot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just like you, pretend you that didn't happen. Really need that coffee, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, uh, uh, the I captain might... the captain turns to you, Halleck, go ahead and take the wheel. I'm gonna go over to the side and look over the side of the ship. Mm-hmm. I'm very paranoid right now. I'm like looking down to see because like. In Halleck's mind, perfect ambush situation. We can't see someone could get in close, mm-hmm. and then they could climb up and get on the ship without any any fuss, no muss. Do you want uh, to ask Trace to help so it's two sets of yes. eyes are better? Yes, yes, yes. Trace! Uh, yes, yes, sir. Don't, don't do that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, sir. Mm. Mm. Yes, <laughs> ha- Halleck. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, check over the side of the stern, or the port side. So I, I, uh, I walk over and check. Does he go to the right side of the ship? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> He's on the correct right. side of the ship. He knows that much. <laughs> um, and then you'll go to the starboard? I will go to the starboard side. All right. Both of you, go ahead and roll perception checks. Oh, natural 20! First one. Second one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's, a, right. that's right. Uh, I got um, ten. Uh, ten, yeah. Ten. You don't see anything, Halig. Hmm. And uh, Trace, you don't see anything. What? Hmm. Not. There I see could the water just real be good. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Great. If you even if you roll like a nat twenty on perception check and there's nothing there, you yeah. still see nothing. It doesn't feel very satisfying. <laughs> but it is also them? a good feeling. <laughs> why, have them, why have them roll it then? <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Uh, he'll kind of mm, all right. Uh, go to the wheel. Uh, Cotton, may I take the wheel? Absolutely. Thank you, Cotton. Uh, Pete, save some food. <laughs> I will take the wheel, uh, and then... He's not too far away from you the whole time, so that way you guys can communicate. Right. 
Take the wheel. Look ahead. And as you look ahead. This is where we die. It's actually Brimhilda ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Heart go, attack dead. Go ahead and roll me a survival check. Do I do this with that yeah, extra die? Go ahead and use your background cool. die. Thank you. So survival. That's a natural one. Okay. It's a five on the background dice, though. <laughs> okay. So uh, as you're sailing through, uh, a rock goes by, and it's like, oh, the water is very shallow. Another rock goes by. Uh, Trace is calling out. Big rock over here. Yes, I see it. Thank you. No problem. Oh, it's another a rock? rock? I another thought it was rock. something else. <laughs> another, another rock. <laughs> no, definitely a rock. One just goes right by the ship. Uh, hey, like, what are you doing? There's uh, rocks. Have we hit one yet? Are we running aground? I'm gonna uh, motion to Marlin, uh, and I'm gonna go half speed. <laughs> half speed. You see a couple, uh, a couple of the other halfling crew get uh, to work. Uh, if we haven't hit anything, I'm not gonna turn. Okay. Oh uh, God. <laughs> <It's Titanic. laughs> All what do you see? <laughs> I see lots of rocks passing on this side. All right. Roll another survival check. Ugh. That's a, boof, uh, a 16. You guys might think nothing bad happened, but that one sent Chris onto another rolling table. <laughs> what? So you got a six? Uh-huh. Oh, no, 16. 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Occasional smaller rocks, meaning the water is higher. Okay. Meaning you're getting further from whatever thing you were close to that could have crashed. You pass by a wrecked ship. Do I recognize it? Or I'll, do any of us recognize it? Is, is it on my side? Do I see it? It is on the starboard side, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, am I able to see it? Yes. It is a family ship. Caster ship. Is that the one that got stolen from my family last week? No. That was a, a, a that was a boat. This is one of the ships, oh, one of the ship. earliest ships to leave the island when the fog first came. That's not good. Do, is there any? It's like floating lumber. There's little crabs crawling at the top. Are there any bodies that we can see? Roll a perception check if you want to look for bodies from a distance. Yo, from a distance. <laughs> Uh, 14. Also 14. Big mm. 10. 17. There is no necessarily a sign of a body floating or anything like that, but you do see one uh, big crab, crab the size of a person climb out of the ship, and in its pincer is a hand. Halleg? And it right. jumps into the sea and swims right. away. Uh, How long has this ship been here? I don't know. Uh, have you ever seen a crab that big? Have I ever seen a crab that big? Yes. Okay. The, yes. the island, uh, Amity is known for big sea fish, mm -hmm. uh, shellfish, all that. Right. Um, I'm going to turn to Marlin and go, Marlin. Uh, in my left pocket, in my trench coat, can you take out just a tiny bit of gold? Reaches in, pulls it out. He's got how much? How much gold? Uh, I have ten gold on my person. He'll have about three. Cool. Chuck that over the side. Which side? Any side. Just as long as it hits the ocean. Does. Hell, he closes his eyes for a second. Uh, and we'll say a silent prayer. Uh, it's silent to everyone in the scene, but yes, for us, what, sure. is, what is the prayer? I 
haven't done anything in a long time, but it seems the time is right to pay a tithe. I hope you think this is acceptable. Uh, and I will send a prayer to Umberly. Right. Uh, I will do that, and then uh, just keep the keep the heading. Uh, if it feels like we are getting close to running aground, mm-hmm. uh, I will go to docking speed. Okay. You hear Ellen Trace when seeing the ship. Not like a, a loud uh, cry for help kind of gasp, but like genuinely shocked she you know this she doesn't say it she is not a soldier she works as an administrator for the mayor so to see that is a lot for her and you can see that she pulls away and doesn't know doesn't want to look but she also is like showing a sense of physical fear um, okay, so then I, I'm just I'm just going to whisper to her, like still like kind of keeping my eyes peeled, like in my mm-hmm. hands, like on my sword now, just like, um, me- Ellen, uh, if anything happens, uh, be ready to run to the captain's quarters. Thank you. Eyes are still just peeling. And the ship we saw was it run aground? Like had it crashed into something, or was just floating, seeming Ooh, something had happened to an it? Investigation check. With your background die, because your family. Uh, dirty 20. It did not run aground. You do not see... There, There is no black powder in this world yet. Uh, you do see shattering of what, though? Like outwards or inwards? In some places outwards, but mostly inwards. Uh, I think I'd probably clamber down like stuff's happening. Um, um, you know, less boring, not just me holding the wheel. So I clamber down and share with the crew. That ship didn't run aground. I think something attacked it. Can- yes. Can Trace look at the, the wreckage and, for, like, determine any kind of, like, maybe what kind of combatant, like, did this? Go ahead and roll investigation with your background. Uh, there is a dice tray if you want to use it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's a six. I'm going to have a d6 to use. Thank you. That's a two, so an eight. An eight. You can make it a box if you snap the corners together. Oh, yeah. uh, the ship <laughs> looks messed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, hey, you, you, you like went away. Yeah, messed up. Yeah, messed I, up. Yeah, that's. Uh, I can confirm as a soldier. Yeah. Thank you for confirming. No problem. Meridian, has your family known about a ship like this missing for a while? Yeah, it's one of ours. That was one of the first ones to leave Amity before, or when the fog first showed up. Oh my. Did, did your family ever do like a search party for it? Yep, but we didn't find it. Mm, until now. Yeah, Grandma Veer is not gonna be super happy. That was one of her favorites, I think. It was where it is at least true i do i do uh, think to like mark down on like a, just a scrap of paper roughly where we are pretty hard but you can only gauge from where you've been coming from um you hear the the occasional whoosh of the waves hit the side of the boat of the ship sorry it's not a boat i'm sorry meridian i'm sorry um, I die a little inside. <laughs> <laughs> Halleck, roll me a third survival check. Oh, come on, baby. Can, can he have a help with me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I give him the help action. We'll see. Cool. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, does that, with the help action, do I re-roll the background dice as well? No, just the d20. Gotcha. So I'll just roll this. 
thank you. Uh, so that is a 20, dirty 20. I have no bonus as survival, by the way. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I'm driving the ship. Yeah, why? <laughs> and you were Very so, interesting. You were so, you're like, I'm going to drive the ship, too. So I was like, okay, I'll let you. Me <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> with my plus two over here, maybe I should have taken the wheel. <laughs> um... Well, we'll now have bumper stickers that say Meridian take the wheel. <laughs> the air thickens. The fog creeps inward. And you find the f- one of the last things you really notice before the fog settles to a really good dense. Uh, you see Pete the tabaxi hurry up with his bowl to climb up the mast. <laughs> And now no one's vision can be can go past twenty five feet. Great. I'll call for docking speed at this point. Okay, docking speed. Crew. It's a little harder to notice, but everyone is working to make sure it happens. I don't look very happy about it, but I do. I like help the crew. I'm clearly like skilled and know what to do. Just was avoiding work earlier. Um. <laughs> The best way to describe this fog is like a cloud giant vomited smoke covering the sea. Gross. Mm. And it gives that gross feeling. It doesn't feel, for those who've been on ships, it doesn't feel like real good fog. It feels like something is always present. Mm-hmm. This fog's bad. What? I just said this fog's bad. Oh, all right. Do do you feel anything bad about it, or is it just a vibe? We're shouting. Yeah. Uh, Could I use a divine sense? Yeah, absolutely. So I take a big whiff of this fog (laughs) and try to determine what's going on. (laughs) (laughs) There is a sense of evil in the air. There is, you don't have a strong history fighting outsiders, creatures from other places, but this feels otherly. This does not feel like a magic user could conjure this. Mm. Gotcha. Um, I'd like to take my, my potion bottle out and use my magical tinkering where I can, uh, it can shed five, a five foot radius of dim light. And five foot sh- radius of dim light? Yeah, okay. like a vibrant purple with a little bit of yellow peeking through. Is it able to see out any further as I like hold it in front of me? Itch. Everyone on the ship can see you. You are a beacon of light in the fog, mm-hmm. but the fog like turning on your headlights in the fog, it just scatters and it makes it even harder for you to see. Oh, interesting. What you don't see is the rest of the crew spotting you and noticing that that is happening. I'll turn back to Martin and go, I think a caster should be on the wheel, son. Okay, fine by me, and my I'll- ship. Does he put Hello, down baby. his food? Hmm? Does he put down his food? He does. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Trace was getting a little worried. Like he's not great at his job, but like all these guys were carrying around like food. <laughs> it, it's like a rainy day. You should have both hands on the wheel oh, versus yeah. setting. How long does divine? Um, I think it's just a brief like detect. Like I think it's just a check. Okay. Silence. You hear the water you hear a little bit of the flapping of the sails, just a little bit. And um, I want everyone to roll a perception check. It's caught. 13. 13. 12. 12. Eight. 11. 11. <laughs> cool. Uh, Marlin shots out to Pete up in the mass. Pete, do you see anything? 
No response. All right, pee pee. <laughs> pee. Hey. Pee. Pee. I'm drawing my mall. The I, rest I of the sword. crew <laughs> pulls swords and spears, and are on his. I'm gonna walk to the bottom of the mast. Okay. Who's within 30 feet of me in our party? Let me grab a set so you guys can see. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the grand reveal. Dun, dun, oh, dun. shoot! Oh! Wow! Wow! So that is good. good. And the crew's all on there. Oh my god. Now you gotta add us. Except for P. Yep. Pete, the tabaxi, is still on the ship right now. Oh, oh, but he right. is not responding. Alec? No. Yes. Where are you? Uh, I would have just moved to uh, right next to the wheel, probably. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Big bases. Mm -hmm. And you painted these yourself? I painted, yes. Yeah. Including the ship. Wow, it looks so good. So Meridian. Cool. That fog doesn't look that scary. Um, I said I went <laughs> so to the... Scary. I said that I went to the base of the mast. If you uh, want to keep me honest, the, the fog looks so much better now. Or like now, there's something so to weird. catch it. Yeah. Now yeah. there's something darker to contrast with. Trace, you're on the the, uh, the bow of the ship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wherever Ellen is. Yeah, yeah, the opposite side. Ellen next to her in her red coat. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's so beefy. It's great. He it just looks like Hercules. Mar uh, not Meridian. Uh, Bryn. I'm next to Halleck. Yeah. Right here. Right. Okay. Wonderful. <clears throat> Wait, where's Meridian? Um, I'm at like base the base of the, of the. You can't really see. She's in the middle. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, it's what rogues do. <laughs> what rogues do. Also, vision is a little tough. So, so twenty-five feet. And uh, Ooh. I touched the mic. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Lick it. <laughs> Do you double dog dare me? Oh no. I triple dog dare you. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> I'm back. And, um and uh just to double check the uh context again, like I my primary task on this ship is to protect Ellen, right? Yes. Got it. I feel like that's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> Why did I have to say it that way? <laughs> Who says they're coming after Ellen? All right, guys. You guys were asking about where you are from each other. Mm -hmm. um, this is a pretty good. Oh, that's so sick. Standing oh, of where everyone is. So cool. Uh Captain uh, Merlin Caster is at the helm with his yellow coat. There's about. Three other uh, crew members down there, two halflings, one in a coat and a hat, a bald one, and uh, an old gnome. Old gnome's a little in the corner near Ellen. I'm oh, so no. concerned what's gonna pop out in the water. <laughs> I just, it's above us from if Pete's not there no more. So the bald halfling and the coat and hat halfling, those are not the, those are not the captain. Right. Yeah, Captain's the one Captain's in the yellow jacket. Captain's the one in the yellow jacket way up here. Meridian's yeah. uncle. Marlin. All right, so this ruler is your average 30 foot speed. Mm -hmm. 25. 25. 25. 25, 30 foot, 30 foot. Oh, so wait. basically for the 25 footers, it's just that. Cool. That is how far you guys can see right now. Holy. Gotcha. And then you said the half elves can see 30 feet? Half elves can see 30 feet because they're uh, medium creatures, which doesn't make it all the way to. I can see the bottom of the crow's nest. You see nest. the bottom of the crow's nest. Mm. You cannot see the full crow's nest. Mm. Right. Um, I think this all started when I asked like how far away everybody is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That, that's when this started. So okay. we've all we've all yelled up to Pete. Yeah. <laughs> and heard nothing in response. And heard nothing in response. Ah. Huh. Um. Ha Halig, do you still need me on this bow? Uh, 
I don't know where you are, because I can't see you, but maybe. I'm thinking it might be good to start getting closer to each other. <laughs> All right. Roll perception checks. Cool. Oh, gosh. 11. 12. 17. Dirty 20. Great. <sighs> you hear movement. Just the movement in this dense air. The air is so dense, you can feel when someone moves by you. Just like when, uh, if you run by somebody and the wind that catches them hits you, and you're like, ooh. You feel that in every motion, and you just feel it go by at a high speed next to you all. And you are all far apart. Captain, like, was that you? No, I'm, I'm not moving at all. Please. Please don't let me die. Is he just saying that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, he does. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so what, did we feel the movement come, like, by a side of the ship? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like so, to I'd like to try and get Ellen, uh, if I may, like, uh, Ellen, uh, ma Ellen, let's move back towards the center mast. Okay. I'm just going to have you guys move closer to the center mast. As you get to the mast, something's in the air. Something beautiful, something soft. It's cutting through this fog. It is a, a voice. I would like everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, is it a plus one? Is it a charm? I is just, it a charm? The half elves get to roll advantage if it is. I got an at twenty. Well, get two. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll with advantage. Okay. I got a seven. I got a five. Okay. Yeah, short people. I have like no wisdom. This is concerning. Seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so you got it. That's why. Everyone else, as you guys decide to move closer to each other, mm -hmm. you find yourself choosing not to. Ellen. Sounds like shoots and ladders back there. With it does that sound like shoots and ladders. Fancy dice rolling. Really. Nice yeah. Ellen does not succeed. And she well, comes yeah. to a stop as well. You are all somewhat conscious of what's happening. You're not really, you're not like trying to panic like you're paralyzed. You are calm and still, and you don't want to move. Trace, you hear this voice, this soft, beautiful voice cutting through the fog. Mm -hmm but you, you notice it doesn't affect you. Mm -hmm. You notice Ellen stops. You notice everyone else stops. Mm -hmm. Don't know if the captain has stopped. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Um, I, ju I see Ellen stop and I say, uh, May El Ellen, uh, we, need to, we need to keep moving. We need to keep moving. It's, it's so wonderful, though. I'm sorry? It's wonderful? The, the fog? Um, I, I try to, like, pull her, I like, but I'm like, That's, I don't want to touch. Okay. Um, everyone, is everyone else okay? Trace, why don't you just enjoy it? Enjoy the fear? What are you talking about? Such a beautiful voice. Um, is there anything, like, you metal near me? Metal? Metal, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you can find something metal. Oh wait, no, I have my shield. I just yeah. start trying to bang on it to drown out the noise of that, of that voice. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> you start banging on that shield, trying to drown it out. Everyone else, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. So straight. Okey-dokey. Straight for you. This voice is a bit, it's very mid. Wake up. Fudge. Why are my dice being so mean? Four. Three. Oh, God. Nine. <laughs> we like the music. No, no one's no one's succeeding. <laughs> but you hear the captain. Oh, what's that sound? What's going on? I don't know, but I don't think it's good. No, it's fine. Just vibing. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard Alex say the word vibe before. <laughs> we should be concerned. Something's coming. The, the gnome crew member of the ship mm-hmm. walks oh no walks to the <laughs> front of the ship stands there almost ready to embrace everything and nothing and all of it at once oh no you get one action one action what do you do it's all on you, Jordy. Can I even get to him in time? <laughs> you have 30 feet of movement. Does he even see him? Yeah, he can see him. Because he's within the front of the boat. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah, he's... Just be, you, he is on the edge. He is being silhouetted. Just like the mist on the table is like creeping. You see the mist creeping and like almost ready to wrap him. Does he look like he's about to drop can I perceive that? Uh, insight. Yeah, insight. Oh. Wow. Well, that was <laughs> roll it in the box. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all on the soldier. <laughs> it's insight. Okay, so uh, 11. 11? Yeah. He might. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. I pull out my crossbow and I try to shoot him in the leg. <laughs> Pull up the crossbow. Mm-hmm. Aim. Roll an attack. Nine. Uh, oh, with the it's uh, fourteen to attack. And as the crossbow hits him, the fog swallows him, and you do not hear the bolt make contact. But at the same time. You feel that movement in the air. It feels like some sea ghosts we're dealing yeah. with. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. <Yeah. laughs> cool, awesome. cool, tight, tight, tight. <laughs> this dude just full on disappeared into a Dark Souls like door. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome, awesome. Tight, tight, tight. Cool, cool, cool. God. <laughs> the. The voice is still coming from above. Everyone else, make a wisdom saving throw. Thank God. At disadvantage, still, or? Uh, straight, so therefore okay. advantage. Oh. Mother! I got a four. Oh, man, guys. Three. Three. Fourteen? Fourteen. Okay. Let's see. Wait. Fourteen. 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 You snap out of it. And it's it's... Not shocking, it's just, oh, like, the return of natural stress and control over your body returns. It's like coming out of a good, relaxing meditation. I turn and look at Halleck really confused. It's great. Fun times. Can I slap him? You absolutely can. What do you want me to roll for that? Roll an attack. <laughs> What's your uh, your AC is 13, so you gotta roll h- higher than a 13. Do I get to use my strength modifier? For like yeah. A, okay. 15. 15. Whoa, boom! Ugh. Uh, oh. You're out. You're out of it. Heck. Ugh. What is that? Uh, and I go to plug my ears. Um, as you go to plug your ears, you see Bryn. You can see me right there. 
Enough. Yeah. You don't see anyone else on the ship because the fog is cut off right around the stairs. Mm-hmm. And you see the little bald halfling crew member standing there, mm-hmm. dazed, and he steps up. Up here. Wow, wow, impressive. Uh, he steps up onto the edge of the ship. I'm ready. Um, um, and you get one action. What do you do? Me or Bryn? Either. Uh, Both? Uh, uh, Either? Uh, 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 well, he, he has the helm. No, the captain the, is, the, on the the is on oh. the wheel. Uh, I'll, I'll sprint after him. Uh, I'll see. Yeah, I'll try to grapple him. Okay. Roll uh, grapple. So now one. Okay. <gasps> you run. Was he trip or something? No. <laughs> you run and you go to grapple him. And because you are closer, you are able to see right. what happens. <gasps> As he kind of like leans out, you see come out of the fog towards him massive wingspans. Sharp teeth. I told you it's a demonic seagull. <laughs> the no, as if, and then giant talons raise up a feminine elvish face and grabs him by the back or uh, by the front and pulls him into the fog. Uh, is she within my melee? She would be exiting your space. I'll take a swing if I can. Go ahead and roll for an attack. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna switch this to combat. Cool. Uh, heck yeah. Uh, that's terrifying. <laughs> so it's less of a, like, oh, I'm gonna shit this thing, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, cool, I'm just gonna roll an attack. 11 Yeah, to that's hit. Right. 11? Yeah. No, you just miss. Cool. What you see, take him, is a pillar. I have a lazy suit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that's pretty. God. Talons, uh. massive wings, and a feminine elven face with sharp uh, goblin shark teeth that <laughs> pop out. I'll uh, scream and say, ah, what is that thing? Uh, and I'll uh, shout to the rest of the crew to let them know that something's there. Great. Uh, we're going to enter initiative. Cool. Okay. Please. Uh, oh, the one good roll and it's initiative. That's the same. <laughs> Gosh dang. So how I'm going to run initiative mm-hmm. is going to be really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, who will figure out who rolled the highest, mm-hmm. and then we are going to go around the table in that order. Mm-hmm. And then the next time, we'll go the other way. As in next combat. We will always be going either clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. Um, I got a 19. 19? Dirty 20. Dirty 20? 14. 14? 17. Meridian? Mm-hmm. Not Meridian. Bryn. <laughs> Um, you get to choose, do you want to go uh, right or left on the initiative one at the end of your turn? Okay? And okay. then that's the direction we're going to go. Okay. When the initiative lands on me, it's the monster's turn. Okay. Okay. Bryn. Um, I uh, run across towards Halleck because um, I like heard him say something. Mm-hmm. And as I'm on the railing, uh, do, I, do I see the creature? Yes. Okay. And it is in the midst of flying back, holding the the, the dazed halfling. Okay. Um, is she at least a 15 foot radius from me? Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, Bren sees this horrifying creature, and her eyes just get really big, and she reaches and grabs her uh, potion bottle, and holds it towards her, and I I do. Um, the cantrip uh, lightning lure. Um, oh, that's fun. Okay, so she needs to exceed a strength saving throw or be pulled 10 toward me. 
Um, it's like a lightning lasso. Yeah, so she needs to make a, a 15 strength save. She does not succeed. From my uh, potion bottle, there's a lash of lightning energy that strikes at her, and she is pulled uh, 10 feet towards me in a straight line, and she takes seven points of lightning damage. Nice. And as I'm holding the potion, you hear Bryn say, strike in Elvish. I yell, Meridian! We need you! Meridian, it's your turn. Go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, this feels, feels nice. Uh, uh, that's a 10. Mm. No, I'm sorry. Oh. Mm, it's fine. Meridian, when you... You're like, it's fine. And you look up. And you look up at the crow's nest. Uh, you see something peek through that thick fog looking down. And, and, I'm, not wor- and I'm not worried about it at and all. And you're not worried about it at all. <laughs> but you see exactly what I described before. The elvish feminine face with the goblin jaw bite. There's another one of these creatures up on the crow's nest looking down. And it is singing. It is, you see the Adam's apple move and you see the mouth move almost unnaturally to send this magical voice to your ears. Trace, it is your turn. Does Trace see this or no? Roll a perception check. I had an 11. 11? Oh, sorry, buddy. Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but uh, Ellen, uh, Meridian, and the halfling in front of you are all charmed. They're all charmed. Um, and can I, who can I see from like the siren situation that's over there? Like all those guys over on the railing. Oh yeah, you can see that siren being magic. Uh, you can see the siren magically being forced by lightning. Okay. Yes. It's, it's like a lash was probably kind of like a like a rope of lightning. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to move to get between uh, the creature and Ellen. Okay. And then I'm gonna cast Bless. Nice. Cast it. Great. And I'm gonna use it on Meridian. Thank you. No problem. Uh, pretty I'm needs that it. right now. What's that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so pretty. <laughs> it's cool. Um, it has wings. Yeah. <laughs> I like those sharp teeth. There, there was something in the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> she looks pretty good. Teeth are bad. Teeth are bad. She seems nice, Pete. She is not. So who gets Meridian? Uh, I'm going to do Ellen. And then... Uh... You have Bless. And the... Oh. Yeah. And then, so I give it to, to Brent as well. What right? is that, a D8 again or a D4? It's a D4. Okay, for attacks, saves. Yeah, it's attacks and saves. I, to, to cast that, I just, I just, I just shout, uh, eyes up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got bless on all these characters. Brynn just kind of like, ooh, like a chill went down her. <laughs> um, and then I'm, I'm just gonna also, well, no, 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 I'll keep, I'll keep what I've got. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, mm-hmm. it is a bunch of people's turns. Um, <clears throat> cool. I'm gonna roll for Ellen. She blessed now. She is. She is. Go ahead and roll the, the bless for me. Oh, oh no. It's a one. <laughs> one. She does not pass. Oh. Dang it. I should have shook her. <laughs> She's my <laughs> husband. Uh, the captain. Whoa, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> uh, please get rid of it. We're trying. The creature that's being magically uh, held by you, Bryn, uh, can I roll to get out of it? You're not held. You just got brought. Yeah, you got pulled, and then it's oh, done. Oh, so like I'm free to move around. Yeah, now. I thought you were just describing it more for like instantaneously what just happened. Yeah, no, you can move after this. I wish it was holding you. That was sick. That would help you a lot. Mm-hmm. But alas, it is just a cantrip. <laughs> mm. 
Not that powerful. And it begins to fly away. Oh, no. Is anyone good? You guys have attack of opportunities if you want. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, at- <sighs> attack her with my rapier. Pink dice, don't be a jerk. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20? That, yes, that absolutely hits. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Brim's gonna take out her rapier and be like, not so fast, and take a swipe at her for eight points of damage. Uh, you notice that this creature drops the halfling into the water. Oh, God. <laughs> and, Sailors uh, could swim. Or, yeah. Right? And he, okay. uh, this creature begins to fly away quickly. Uh, Hits. Uh, I'm going to pick up the mall and, and not have a quippy one-liner or anything. Just go, ah! And just, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to aim for its head. And I, as I hit it, uh, I want I want to see some damage because that's 10 points of damage. As the rapier slashes, and then uh, you go for that mall. Mm-hmm. How does this creature die? Oh, I cave, yeah. its, I cave its skull in. And it falls down mm. into the water. Nice. Brain turns around and high fives you. <laughs> I, oh, it's like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I never want to see that again. I think there's another one. <laughs> Why? Are there always more than just one? I don't know. Uh, Halig, it is your turn. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, I assume there's something coming from up there, but I'm gonna look down, because the only thing I can see is our friends. Uh, who, uh, so it's Meridian and Ellen. Uh, and then there's a little gnome yeah. boy I don't care with about us, them. too. You can't uh, see the, the map, and right. you can see the gnome's gone, so okay. there's a little halfling. Real halfling left. Right, all right, 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 right. Uh, I'm going to shoulder them all. I'm going to, I'm assuming those are stairs right there. I'm going to run down the stairs and I'm going to fully just punch Murdy in the face. Rude, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said I, 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 turn, I turn around, I'm like, what? <laughs> Not snap out of it! <laughs> Roll an attack. Cool. Uh, that is uh, unarmed. That would be uh, 16. 16? It doesn't hit me. <laughs> oh, no. no, it does not. My AC is it loud? <laughs> you go to you go to punch, and uh, you rather than hitting her in the face, you kind of step and you hit her in the shoulder. Okay. And she's like, <laughs> "Cool, dude. Nice. Uh, not chill. Yeah. Not chill. Uh, I'll can, if I can do this, I'll do this. Can I bonus action rage and sh- just shout in her face? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna <laughs> wake up. Go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw. Use my bless. Oh, there we go. A dirty twenty. Yeah. Twenty-two. Yeah. Heck yeah. You are free from yeah. this. What well, was pretty pleasant feeling, and the first thing you see is Halig screaming, and then you look back up and you see that creature's face looking down from the mass. And how far away is it from me? 30 feet. Uh, 25, because it is hanging from underneath it. Like a bat? Yep. Ooh. I look up and go, ah! Um, and then I'm going to move forward like get up to the mass so it's just in range and chuck a dagger up at it. Go for it. Okay. That is a 26 to hit. It hits. Cool, and then that will be, oh, I forget. That is nine, oh, sorry, seven points of damage. Great. And then with my bonus action, I'm going to uh, pull out another dagger. So free object interaction Mm -hmm. to pull out the dagger and two weapon fighting, chuck the second dagger up. Do it. it. Heck yeah. Murder. (laughs) I rolled the same exact thing last. I'm sorry, this is a 27 to hit. Great, yeah, that hits. And then that is only going to be uh, two damage, just to 
Just two damage? Yeah, because I don't get to add my stuff mm. into that. Thing. So the first dagger. And the other one, just like, just in like the arm of the wing. I stick my tongue out at her, and then <laughs> I'm going to move. Sure. To try to get some cover between me and the creature, like I... Mm. Yeah, it's not, it's not the covery kind of space, but yeah. we can put you... Yeah, so that it can't get a clear shot at me. And while Just... you're up there, I'm also by Meridian. Thanks. And that's my turn. Great. We can do so much as an artificer. Okay, so it's just this one up here in the air now, right? Mm-hmm. But you barely can see. And so she's probably not within a 15-foot uh, radius? No. It's 30 feet just, it's 30 feet just to get up there. There's a 25, so yeah, no. And Meridian, like, threw her dagger at mm -hmm. her. Okay. Um, I am actually going to uh, take a rope out of my pack. Got a rope. And I'm going to grab a um, another potion bottle. Okay. And I'm going to tie the rope around the potion bottle, and um, I'm going to use my magic tinkering, and it's going to have the, the purple uh, glowing light with the, the yellow coming out. Okay. And I'm going to drop it over the edge to see if I can get the crew member who fell in the water. Oh, you're going to focus on the crew member? I can't do anything else. <laughs> mm, sure thing. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Oh, you, is, you is toss he, him a little Is he woken yeah. up from the charm state because yeah. he hit the water? Yeah, he, he's like <laughs> panicking a bit because mm -hmm. didn't know what was happening. There was a monster. Right. He's swimming, but yeah. he is panicking. You toss the rope down there. Uh, do you say anything? Hobbs, follow the light. Oh, the, the bottle is glowing. Yes, so that's why I said I infused it with my magic uh, tinkering. Great. Sweet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Trace. Cool. Can I now see this uh, creature above us? Yes, you can. Great. Uh, I'm gonna try and shoot at it with my crossbow. That's still <laughs> shoot up. <laughs> Go for it, man. All right. Come on, Trace. That is a 17 to hit. Yes. Great. <laughs> uh, so that is gonna be uh, set. That's gonna be seven damage. You shoot it off. Uh, the bolt hits it right deep in the chest. It's not dead. Mm. It's definitely really, really messed up. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Um, and then I'm just gonna like try and shake Ellen one more time because I don't think she's uncharmed yet, is she? She's not. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and shake her one more time. Right. Good job, twins. Uh, she's not awake. Really? Did you add the bless? Thank you. Go ahead and add that bless for me. Come on, nice bless, bless. It's two. She breaks free. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, Ellen, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, Martin, no, uh, Trace. I'm, I'm sorry. I like let go. <laughs> Just like he you totally need, likes her. You to, you, there's bad things happening. <laughs> oh, bad things. Um, are, is the cargo okay? I think. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. My turn, guys. First, I'm going to deal with Hobbs. Hobbs got a roll. The feathered harpy siren creature hanging upside down like a bat on the, uh, the crow's nest. Got a couple daggers in it. Got a crossbow bolt in it. Mm -hmm. It crawls back up to the top and flies away. My knives. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My arrow. Bolt. Sorry, it's a bolt. I know things. Anyway. Oh, he's so Ooh. dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think you should teach him some things about fighting. All uh, right, fine. <laughs> the other halfling on the ship wakes from the days, and uh, Bryn, roll me a wisdom saving throw. 
Mm. 11. With what you see, you are too frightened to speak up. You um. see... <laughs> Goo! A fin. As big as him. As big as a halfling. Come towards him as he's reaching to grab the rope. Don't make me drop it when I just put all this effort in to help him. <laughs> Taco, mm. can you roll a d20 for me? For Hobbs? For Hobbs. That was a five. Oh. Five. He grabs onto the rope, but... No, don't pull out something else. Oh no. The fin goes down. Under the water. Oh no. It's bad. And it's pops bad. up. Oh my god. Oh my god. A giant. Look at that. A decently large shark pops up because he's a halfling. God. The shark opens its mouth and just swallows him whole. And the teeth latch onto the rope. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, jeez. Give me one of your dice. Okay. Not this been, one. This which one, one's been this behaved. One. Okay. A strength saving throw? Mm-hmm. Okay, I get to use my bless. Yes, you do. Fifteen? You do not get pulled. <sighs> but the rope comes up empty. <sighs> the rope quickly rushes through your hands, oh. and you take one point of fire damage as it burns through your hands. Ouch and the rope escapes your grasp as the shark dives into the water. Bran just like falls backwards onto her butt and she turns to Halleck and barely says, shark. You see Halleck just like (laughs) 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 Yeah, the rage. She behaved pretty well. But we didn't save Hobbs. <laughs> the voice disappears. People are gone. There are no bodies. Um, the sirens took people, and so did the shark. You are, what is that? Three crew members low on already skeleton crew. Mm. Um, I'm going to come out of my ration. <sighs> Uh, 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 Captain, um, w- uh, what's our heading? Uh, 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 Marlin. Forward, just forward. <laughs> um, uh, is anybody, so the, the thing has left, is anybody still visibly, like, dazed? <laughs> no one is visibly dazed. All right. Um, um, I tried to save him. It's all right. Did you say, um, a shark? What about a shark? (sighs) Hops. Swallowed. I tried to save him. It's all right. Let me see your hands. I tried. Right, Right, um... Burned. Like, the last time you saw this was in a raid. I, I must have just been holding on to the rope too hard, but I wasn't strong enough. I couldn't get him. How big was the shark? I've never seen something that huge. It was like... Hmm. It was big. Like, like, like all four of us could have fit inside of his mouth and he would have still had room. Hmm. Hmm. Now, Alec. Hmm. Roll an insight. Okay. Ooh, uh, 18. 18. She is overwhelmed. It's clear she has not seen this kind of thing before. Not just a shark, but Mm. that kind of death, where it's Mm -hmm. just unforgiving. Um, You can't tell if she is over-exaggerating or under-exaggerating because of what is now trauma. Right. 
let's get you down to your quarters and just talk for a second. Um, in the thing of the ship, is there a hold that we can check where the cargo is? Yes. I'm just gonna, why don't you come with me? We'll go down to the hold, make sure everything's fine, get a little coffee, relax a little bit. Uh, okay, coffee's, uh, just... coffee's good. Ha- Helen, could you yeah. take Ellen as well? Right, I was, and I'm like walking towards <laughs> Ellen. Ellen is in a similar state as Bryn. Right. Ellen, um, come with me. Let's go down to the hold. Meridian, I'm assuming you've got all of this handled. Did you see that? It had a mouth full of teeth. Uh-huh. I've never been Meridian's more good. afraid Meridian's in good. my no. whole life, right. but it was thrilling. <laughs> I'm looking at like Meridian. I'm going like, <laughs> to stay on deck, keep an eye out with Meridian. As Meridian says this, yeah. Bryn's eyes are just like getting wider. And I like didn't see most people like die. No. Yeah. I'm just, no. I'm high. I like threw knives at it. I was like, is she, uh, are you okay? I tried. I tried. Did you throw a knife at it? I I hit that one. I hit the one that. <laughs> maybe, maybe we like we go over the game tape later. Uh, let me let me see too about how much I know it. Oh, and then I then I probably notice you're not doing too well after I've been completely. <laughs> <laughs> he he had it. He didn't see it. It was so big. Yeah, but you tried. You tried. Not hard enough. No, but you tried. And that's, that's, next time, if there is a next time, you tried and you did your best. And that's all you can do. And you hit that other one real, real you good. Did. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to kill the first one, not for you. I just got lucky. Yeah. Well, luck is a good thing. Okay. Right. To the hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Um, while we were noticing these things, like, f- flipping around, there's no, like, they didn't cut the sails, they didn't attack the rigging or anything? No. Okay. They had one interest. Which was people? People. That's what it looks mm, like. Smaller right. people. Um, they did go for the bite size yeah, one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a snack, yeah. Well, he was a tabaxi, right? Oh, true, but he was a, a high, high mm. target. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Um, and if does there is there any quality of the fog or the thing around us that feels different now, or do we still have the sad, same oppressive? Sadly, sense? it is still the same oppressive oh feeling. Oh boy! You go down to the hall, the hold, mm-hmm. and uh, with Bryn and Ellen, and you see the cargo. Um, Ellen instantly has a focus and makes sure that not just the last seven days, the risk of leaving, but those cruise members lives are not in vain that the cargo is still here. She's just checking hyper focused. Mm-hmm. Bryn, um, please roll me an investigation. Can I aid in this? Absolutely. Um, 21. You go Thank looking you. in the cargo for the Electra, making sure the Electra is there. The thing that your family desperately wants and needs. So yeah, as we, as we get down there, Bryn just runs over and is looking for it. Does she find it? She kind of like hugs it and then collapse on the floor in front of it. It is about a shoebox size. I want to say about 1,200 coins worth of Electrum because that's the only form of trade of Electrum that's available in the city. So you have a shoebox full of coins. It's here. It's still here. Good. Why don't you rest here for a few? I'm gonna go upstairs, see if they need anything, but don't feel obligated to come up before you need it. Okay. All right. Hey, you tried. I don't know if his family will say that. 
Halleck's at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yeah. All right, you head back up to the main ship. Uh, the main ship, the main deck. Mm-hmm. Um, where you guys are? What, what are you guys doing? Uh, I. Trace still has his crossbow out, and he's just keeping an eye on the horizon because he doesn't. Um... Perception check. Yep. Yeah, I feel like I'm I'm full of sort of like that like the energy still like kind of. <laughs> that was so cool. So I'm probably like like pacing back and forth, like looking over the side of the boat, and like just like ready for something else to happen. Like my adrenaline is still up. Right. Uh, nine. Nine. You walk around the ship. You just keep your eyes around. You keep your ears open, waiting for the for that that voice to come back. You pay attention to how your armor and your clothes are touching your skin because you are f- trying to feel the denseness of the fog and feel that movement if it returns. You are ready. And you are looking, but you cannot perceive anything that does not stop you from keep looking. And I'm also just keeping, again, a side eye on that entrance to the hold, because I know Ellen's down there. Halleg, you come up yes. to the main deck. <clears throat> so, cargo okay down there? It's fine. Just gonna give them a minute. Nothing up here. And then I resume, like, kind of pacing mm. back and forth. Mm. What, what kind of cargo is it again? It's beside Electrum. Is it, like, food and stuff? Yes. Um... We have variety of food, spices, textiles, okay. uh, even weapons for the cohort. Okay. Um, there are sharpened spears, short swords, bolts, uh, some daggers, a couple hand crossbows, and they all have the threes branded logo on them. You know that there's a box of health potions in there, okay. and there's the little box of electrum. Okay. Uh, everything, everything is still there. Uh, Ellen's taking a look at it now, yeah. Okay. Got it. Keep spacing. Okay. Anything specific, Halleck? Uh, I'm going to take up the positions that Hobbs and the, I don't think they've got a name, the other halfling. The other half? The, uh, the gnome? Or the gnome, excuse me. Uh, I'll just... Marty. <laughs> Marty. 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 Amazing. Did you just name him? No, they're just... Oh. <laughs> no, they're all named. Uh, yeah, I'll just take up a position if we're going to, if we need to raise sail, if we need someone to look out. Hallie's just going to fall in line. Round? Yeah, I'd probably go back, maybe say hi to my uh, my uncle, Marlon. He feels a little shooken, but he's like clearly trying to push his feelings down to focus. And I'm like, I'm kind of excited about what happened and I want to talk about it. Is this, he's he's no longer saying, I don't want to die. No, he's not. <laughs> it's good. It's good, you know, it's progress. It's um, worked. How are you doing, Uncle Marley? Did no, you see uh, the bird things? I did. You, you good? You, you don't I, I'm hurt? doing good. Are you good? Yes, that was so exciting. So we need to make sure that not just your mom, but your grandma doesn't find out about this. Why? Why? Because I will be the one who falls on the sword for this. But I'm fine. You are fine. Absolutely, I agree. In fact, you're better than fine. But. Mom, mom's the word. Mom's the word. Mm-hmm. Sailor for both secrets. The moms. Sailor secrets. What happens at sea stays at sea. Right now, um, and then I resume my like pacing, like with a new sense of like purpose and mm-hmm. have, like a secret. Uh, as you start to pace, Halig, Trace, you hear that thunder in the distance. Hmm. Uh, can we roll like a perception check from our like sea experience to kind of figure out like absolutely like what that means? <laughs> yep. <laughs> B nine, uh, nine. T- twelve. Well, when you set sail, there was no red sunrise. Communicates the weather for a lot of sailors. A storm coming is not a good 
there was no storm, there were no sirens on the way out. And you begin to realize that whatever forces and creatures are here are why that shipwreck happened. Why people cannot come back to Amity Island. For the rest of the day until the storm Hopefully it avoid misses, but if it comes, what would you two like to do? So do we detect that like based on your saying that red sunrise that like this storm is natural? Like we were kind of like, no, like so, expecting uh, it? No, red sunrise means there's a storm coming. No red sunrise means there's clear sky. Got it. So red sun in the morning, sailor take warning. But there was no red sun. And yet we're filled, we're, we hear lightning and we're covered in fog and so Yes. Right, so, um, well, that's not good. We lost two people. Yeah, air's bad. Mm. Air's still bad. I, um, I don't want to get too personal, but, um, I saw you casting some magic back there. Uh, you know, with the three, uh, Paylor gives us all strength, so mm-hmm. it's just, um, just a little little prayer. Mm-hmm. That was all. That, nothing, nothing fancy. Mm. How long have you uh, had that ability? Um, it's a little on the recent side, I'd say. Um, still mm-hmm. getting the hang of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then, uh, which one we'll call it? Then uh, Trace is gonna like lightly touch his breastplate, um, uh, as if there was something underneath. Uh, just kind of as like a nervous tick, just touch. Mm. Magic's cool. <laughs> yeah, no, magic's good. I've always wanted to be magic, right. but... Meridian, I'll pierce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> you need to make more noise. Yeah, you need, you're, you're just sneaking around, and there's, like, a lot of things sneaking around right now, so, like, that's not ideal. <sighs> but it is cool that you can do magic. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Like, we're, like, I think the coolest thing about you now is that you can do magic. Oh. Uh, Trace doesn't hide well. Did that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d4 psychic damage. <laughs> I do realize that I hurt your feeling. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. You know, um, I'm a soldier. It's fine. Um, you are you were great, too. You ran up the mass real quick. The, the knives, that was... That was really, that was, that was super cool. That was really nice. Yeah, but it took, I, uh, I make a mental note to go and steal two knives from <laughs> the, uh, the stockade downstairs because I realized my two knives have flown God. away. <laughs> like, yeah. but I don't say that out loud because I know he wouldn't like it. Right, like, I'm familiar, I've caught her a few times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've caught Rudy You've babysat knives. me in jail, in town a few nights. I've definitely tried to, like, pickpocket the jail keys off of you. Uh-huh. And, I, and, I, and I, like, look, I just, like, can I, can I roll perception check to see if Larry, like, yeah. insight, in- insight. insight to see? Insight check. Sorry. Uh, it's a 10, uh, insight, so, uh, 13, or 12. Okay, so 12? I have to roll to look like I'm not yep. trying to steal something. Lost I got a nat 20. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Right. Just definitely not thinking of crime. Definitely yeah. not thinking of crime. <laughs> I believe you. Alec, how are you feeling on this? I know it's been a while since you actually sailed. How are you doing? Mm. Great. I never feel uh, at home on dry land, so this is perfect, actually. Uh, and actually, that fight... And I'm like looking around to make sure Bryn is not here. Amazing. <laughs> Invigorating. I haven't felt like that in years. Usually I just throw knives at targets because mm. my family says it's not fun for them. Whatever. What do they do? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. Exactly. That was thrilling. I exactly. thought I was going to die. Mm-hmm. I thought everyone was going to die, but it was so much fun. And you lived. Yes. And you'll continue to live. Yes. Good. And then you watch, and then I get, like, a little sad once I realize that there are, like, actually people who are no longer with us on the boat who I knew. Ooh. You, and then I push those feelings aside. As you push those feelings <laughs> aside, you hear... Ding, 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 ding. 
on Trace's armor, rain begins to come in. And the storm has arrived. That was the first episode of this adventure. You can catch the second one right now. It should be the first link in the description or somewhere on the screen. If you want to watch this series uncut, become a member of the channel or join Patreon. The plan is to drop a new episode every other week, which gives me plenty of time to make sure every episode is as perfect as I can get it. Remember to check out the sponsor links down below. They help the channel grow immensely. Big thanks to all our players. They're killing it. I'm Carmichael, your dungeon master, and I'll see you next time.